So today's topic we'll be talking about two disarray and the text. When I talk about two disarray, I want you to picture first a tabular type of entry that will have rows and colors. A two a data grid will look a bit the same. Sure does look familiar. Still with rows and colors. Now the day of today we're going through a quick a quick demo that will help you try and visualize how the two can work together. The demo for this program was done using Visual Studio 2010. For some reason I think Visual Studio 2012 interface is still too ugly so I will not move right now. So you have just a simple interface to be able to track calories of a person during breakfast, lunch and dinner and we're going to track them add them to the table to a table and then every time change the week to start a new week or sometimes calculate the highest and highlight them into the column so let me go through quickly Adding. so i will add that from one day and go to tuesday We are now Wednesday, I'll add the same thing. Saturday, I've had the same thing, and Sunday, what? So much And I'll add it, and the program like to say here, tell me that I'm done with the experience. So I would now try to find out which are the highest every, every day during the week. So, and you see, yeah, uh, highlighted. So, and if I don't want to start a new week, start a new week, and then everything will be saved to a file that I will throw at the latest stage. Okay, now let's try to find out what is the code behind everything that we have done for. Okay, now there's a code behind. The application is not that long to go with, and yeah, you can appreciate for yourself. But, you know, let me remove that and remove that too. Let me just focus on the code. Okay, first of all, we have some global variable that we declare here, just for a week of two days, and a 2D array that will store the calories. The seven by three we have lunch yeah. breakfast lunch and dinner that we have to capture in this number okay. right. and we have a count here to keep track of how many days we are in the week already so i have that little statement here that will say if count is over or greater than seven, just return. It's for me to stop adding day after Sunday, so that someone would not have the pleasure of making each day in the week. And I will store most of the variable in those double that will be coming from our numpad here. I like to use numpad instead of text boxes because I'm a bit too lazy to validate and I will then store them again into a 2D array knowing that count will keep track of where we are already we have our week calories 
and this is the statement that will be used every time that I will need to add them into into our data grid. So please take note of this. We haven't yet approached a class or, or the OO oriented pro, uh, type of programming, but we'll get there soon. So just take it as it is right now. And this snippet over here will help me when it comes to get the code for the height. This I will use as it is. I will get the highest. I think if the code is pretty much forward, so you can see exactly where I'm going. Mostly what I'm trying to do here is I'll pick up the highest every time and while picking the highest also I'll take the pressure of taking also the index at which is sitting in our in my 2d array so that it will be easier for me to highlight every time that I'll get yeah to be able to highlight everything that I did Code over here is the one that I use to be able to write into my file every time with the number of the week that we, that is indicated here. So pretty much straightforward code. Everyone is familiar with everything that they do. Okay. Let's go and recap that code again. So starting here, that will just be capturing everything that was in the numpad and then send them into my 2D array. 2D array that will be using them to send onto my data grid and keeping track of the day so that we don't go over seven the following code get high daily higher highest will just keep track of while looping through my 2d array find out which is the highest and then save it every time into an array that i call week i and i will send the indexes of of the highest every week into a week array this will be a 752 week index just by making sure that here yeah, I have old high and new high so every time that new high will be different from old high I'll save the, the new indexes so where the highest is sitting this one here will help us go to the next week here the grid and then save everything that was in the grid into our file that will name week plus the number plus the week number which we are in. And the following one will just help us to highlight the highest. In this one, I didn't do the average because I think it's kind of pretty much forward. Everyone can do it. So it's just a matter of taking every time the same concept that we apply here 
sum all three sum all three value and then divide them by three and you can either add a row another row into a grid that will keep on the app the choice is up to you